Good. Time now for the queue line with your host, Ron Pumphrey. The numbers to call if you're in the St. John's dialing area, 579-0111. Outside of the St. John's area, just dial the operator and ask the place to collect call to 579-4462. The opinions of the moderator, not necessarily those of the station, the management, or its sponsors. Now here is your host and moderator on the queue line, Ron Pumphrey. Thank you, Jim Phillips, and hello, my lovelies, and good afternoon, men and youth of Newfoundland and all the ships at sea. This is Ron Pumphrey taking up residence in your radio again today by the grace of God, the technology of Q, and the courtesy of you, further to inform and entertain you while you inform and entertain us, and I expect we're going to have a real good time here today. But anyway, this week's TV topic should bring some Harbor Gratians and an island called Man With Us to play and sing. One of the songs being the Q-Line song, as its author Herman Harris calls it, so stay tuned. Three of the people in question have just come into our cramped little studio here, all smiles and raring to go. And yes, sir, and there's Randy out there looking in from the window, and he's just anxious to hear it. My God, I sound like one of these... Uh, uh, Pentecostal ministers on television, don't I? <laughs> and I have the information on Hill Visions and an island called Man. Let me tell you something about them. What? What? We have here Herman Harris of Harbor Grace, who has written uh, the Nightline song, and it had to do with when we had a Nightline show. And with him is the irrepressible Clayton Combs, who picks a guitar. Uh, wait, what's this? What? You want to tape it? Well, hold on one minute. Sure. Sure. Oh, they want to tape it. That's interesting. Hey, fellas. Huh? They're going to tape it. There must be something really to this. Okay, they're going to tape that uh, particular Nightline uh, song, which was sung the other night, made its debut. Well, it didn't make its debut. Herman, could you tell us how many times you sang that and where? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I don't think your mic is alive, yes, here, speak of the mind, I, I sang the song uh, several times, I guess, at the stage head pub in Harvard, and uh, every time I play it here, the, I get requests to do it over, right? Is that right? Yes. Yeah, Pretty popular with the crowd at the stage here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then um, Clayton Combs, if you were here to see him picking that guitar, you just wouldn't believe it. I mean, he is a warm, cool guitar picker, let me tell you. And Bunt Snow is here. Bunt Snow, who looks like wild big Bill Hickok with his full beard and his cowboy hat, multi-studded, and his vest, his cowboy vest. And here, too, is Christine Harris from Harbor Grace. And she's the daughter of Herman, and they're a very musical and, and singing family. Very talented family, I discovered the other night. Well, they're here to entertain. Is that tape set up there, old buddy? Is, it? is the microphone alive now? Okay, take it away, Herman Harris. <laughs> It's nightline again, the cheer hall's sun from free. If you call and chat for a minute or two, and entertain me, I'll win the danger. Now my time to eat for the night, I must now relay. It's for lonely people in the ear of the May. i 
Jim Gods of the old days. Then from out on the Bell Island, Stephen Neary calls in. And he wants to run down Alexander again. But Ron Pickley informs him, you ain't got much time. If you don't want a date, Steve, get off of the wire. Knock her out there, mate. to you now. The thing is, 
If you haven't got guts enough to uh, bring up a subject uh, that uh, is tormenting you, well, then that is, uh, well, I mean, tough titty. It's your, it's your, it's your, uh, it's your um, a loss, you know. Fair enough. Uh, we'll go on and talk about something else. But I do believe this uh, matter has to be resolved. It appears, and uh, note the word, that uh, Mr. Crocker, a dedicated man, a hard-working man, a man who is trying to keep costs down at the council yard and who is looking for efficiency, which might indeed be very well due. And Christine does, though. Christine does, huh? Okay, she should go in with something. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Okay. No, well, sir, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll debate the question for you. And we see what we can do. Okay, right. Hey, uh, Alec, what do you think of the municipal uh, affair right now? It's getting pretty heavy. We're pretty hot, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting hot, you know, when you get uh, now. Yes. Yeah, Ted Rose, I want to speak to uh, Herman Harris, uh, please. Herman Harris. <laughs> okay, Herman, there we are. He just left and came over to the other corner while his daughter, Christine, went over to the microphone to sing a song. But go ahead there, Ted Nose. Herman there, or Herman has gone to speak? No, I'm here, Ted. Yeah, how are you, old buddy? Not too bad yourself, but I'd like to say hello to yourself there and please. And uh, both of those certainly great friends of mine out here at Conception Day, as you know. And we sure know there's lots of towns out this way. And I'm here now with some friends of yours, Melvy Daring, Fraser Daring, and a few more. And you want uh, buns to do the buns there, is it to do that song, 13 Steps? Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> uh, Yeah, we, we, we'll try down a bun to that number. 13 that's, that's a good number. Yeah, indeed it is. Okay, Ted, that's a good idea. Okay, fine. You're really coming over good, by the way. Yeah, that's great, boy. Okay. Thank you, pal. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ted knows who they are seeking the liberal leadership. All right, now we're going to have Christine Harris, who's going to sing what song? Christine, could you tell us there? Paper Roses, and she sang it beautifully the other night at uh, St. Paul's Auditorium in Harbor Grace. She's being accompanied by uh, Clayton... Uh, Coombs of Arsenal, who is living here in St. John's. Go ahead, Christine. Is that true? Yes, it is true, he said. 
Every night after supper and every morning when he gets up, sure, if you're in bed at 8 o'clock in the morning on Saturday morning, you're sure to have to get Harry home for the record player. Yeah. I was studying the past few nights, and, and every five minutes I had to go to him. Now he's got to get Harry home. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, it's quite a talented family, that's for sure. Yeah, your brother is very talented, too, and you've trained a couple of young kids over in Harbor Grace. So who are these two little gentlemen? Curtis, <laughs> Curtis Cooper, he's uh, in grade three, and uh, Jeffrey Sutton, he's in grade two. Yeah, they played the other night on the stage, and they brought the house down. People that just came to their feet, eh, uh, 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 as one. Yeah. to applaud, to give them a standing ovation, these two boys you've trained. Yeah. That's fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Q-Line. We have in our studio Herman Harris with his Nightline song in honor of our show. We have Clayton Combs, and we have the Wild Bill Hickok of Harbor Grace, as I call him, who looks every bit for cowboy. Uh, Funks and all what? is here with his black uh, cowboy jacket with the, what do you call these uh, little fringes, fringes hanging down, and he's got a black hat on, and he's got his full beard, and he's going to do 13 steps for you today. And what do you say we do it now, Bunt, and this will be sort of uh, setting the scene for the whole show. And ladies and gentlemen, get your calls in. We have uh, about a half hour to go, and I will not be with you then for about a week and a half, because I'm going on a little vacation. But I'd like to know what's going on at the city depot. This is imperative, but again, it's up to you. Ron Pumphrey, 5790111. Out of town, 5794462. And now, Bunt Snow. Go ahead, Bunt. Kill my best friend in a quarrel. And a judge I must die. I'm just waiting. It is dead self, I can't even say goodbye to the one I was to marry for pardon. There's no hope, they to be leading me to walk those 13 steps up to the road. Well, it didn't pay. So jealous, but at the time I didn't know that my body was just teasing me as he held her hand and so with my knife I took away his life with just one lightning stroke as they're leading me to walk those 13 steps. Days. And number two, I see my dad. Number three, I've seen the many things I've loved but never had. Number four, I see the rivers where I fish and sing it too. Number five, I see my love sweet face as you gaze. Towards the moon. My foot is now on number six and seven. It's so near number eight, and I can see my dear old mother standing there. Number nine, my knees are shaking. Number ten. I shed a tear, eleven, and I tremble, cause I know my end is near. My heavy foot has grown equal to twelve, and I can see the hangman with his cold dark eyes a stare. Behind me, now, where my 
Yes. No, that was uh, masterfully done, sir. Yeah. That was Grace. <coughs> Are you from Harbor Grace? Yes, sir. Born there? Born there. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you again, Bunt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to the call of hell. Come in, Doris. Hello, Mr. Crockett. How are you, sir? Very well, Doris. I wonder if I can tell you to announce the new year for me. Go ahead, man. Oh, Grace, Grace, Grace. Wait, now, would you like to have a word there? Uh, uh, what? Would you like a word, Bunt? He's, he's congratulating us. Can you hear him there? Well, on behalf of the of Thurman and his daughter, the great and then myself, we thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir, you appreciate it. I'm interested in music myself here. Yeah, of course, I'm here in Hospital. I have my music store, and of course, I often get out in the summertime with the accordion on the set there. Yes. And of course, I appreciate good music, and I must say, you're doing a fine job. Thank you, sir. Uh, do you know uh, Brand on My Heart? Uh, we we'll have one of Hank's old older songs. Uh, I don't know where we know it. Maybe uh, Herman knows it already, right, David. Well, we'd like to hear them sing that if they can uh, manage it at all. Brand on my heart. Right. All right, thank you, David. Go on. Okay, boys, remember that one if you would. Thank you. And come in, Winterton, William. Yes, Ron. Yeah, boy. Uh, I got a wooden set piece there, Ron. You a big fan? The lines. And a lot of people would like to see us going to the lines, too. <laughs> Tigers. <laughs> yeah. Hello? Oh. Yeah, Linda. Yeah, could I speak to Herman, please? Herman? Right now, yeah. Yeah. Herman? Thank you, Herman Harris. 
Rose. Now we'll go to Rose. Where are you, Rose? Happy, you know? Because it seems to me all you, uh, I put you in a certain category of vocalists, but you're always singing about like, oh, she left me this and she left me with a broken heart, or she left me and she took the children, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do this, and I don't know what I'm going to do that. I mean, how about if she left me with a barrel of money? <laughs> no, I, I never heard that one. She left me with a barrel of money. I heard, I heard a few other things. All it seems such sad occasions, you know? I mean, is this indicative that, the, the, is this the way your lifestyle is? That people are always leaving you and you have no friends now? This or what? Is it just, you think that's good type music too? Well, the last song was requested, eh? Sure. Someone phoned in and requested it. No, do you, you ever sing anything happy? I mean, does she? We've got a request to do a happy one. I heard, come a, on I heard a couple of turkeys in the background laughing. I suppose they're your sharing section or something, or whatever they are. But I'm asking you now. You're the one who's singing, aren't you? Well, they're definitely go go girls in the background. Oh. Right there. It's probably a bunch of. <laughs>
Bill has off to request it at the stage head in Harbor Grace where he plays. And where, by the way, the uh, toilets there are the men's and women's restrooms are called the John and Marsha. All righty. Now we go out of town again. Bertha in Upper Island called. Come in. Hello? Yeah, Bertha. Yes, this is Beverly Mercer, Mount Brown Cove. I'd like to speak to Clayton Coleman, if I may. Yeah, indeed you may, ma'am. Come on, Clayton. Let's say, by the way, did you hear the mouth organ in the background uh, during the song? That was Clayton playing it. Yes, I know, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead, you got it. Hello? Yeah, sure, hello. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, how are you? Now you know, speaking? Well, no, I don't know, but... Uh, <laughs> Beverly Mercer, boy. Oh, yeah, for sure, I got you now. Do you know, Albert, we enjoy your music over this way? Yeah. to spend weekends at the penitentiary. I was talking to Superintendent Squires today, and he said that when they leave, you know, to go to work Monday morning, their cell is kept there for them. Nobody else occupies it till they come back. And as far as prisoners going out on weekends, that is prisoners who stay in all week, he said only the odd fellow goes out or wants to go to an AA meeting or some function having to do with rehabilitation. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I had to make it fast and can't go into all details, but uh, according to Steve Neary, the nurses who came to Newfoundland to practice nursing from outside the province, uh, from 74 to 78 inclusive, totaled 776. From Canada, 382, that's the mainland, England, 191, the Philippines, 104, the USA, 19, Scotland, 26, Iceland, 13, Australia, 15, and others, 26. The number of civil marriages in Newfoundland, 77, 78, totaled 402. St. John's had 135 of them in 78 and 95 of that uh, 420 in 1977. Well, it is now 301. We gotta go. Herman, thank you and the boys for coming in and Christine, your daughter. Yeah, thanks, Ron, for having us on. It's been a pleasure, fellas, really. And thank you, everybody. Baz will be uh, substituting for me here tomorrow. Uh, we'll be back in about a week and a half uh, if the uh, gut doesn't run dry and if the planes are on schedule and don't crash and stuff like that. And if God is willing, in other words, and until then, I'll be missing you. Warriors bold. 